Hey there my dudes, I am Laddie and welcome to another video. So, I kind of just want to start off this very hopefully short video by saying No, I'm not non-binary. I'm not a woman that didn't like being oppressed by society that decided to have a double mastectomy and is now regretting it. I'm not a trans trender. And I have already made this fucking video. Basically, I've already made a video like this once, but um, I am not non-binary. I'm not a trans trender. I'm not a very confused woman who didn't like misogyny. Uh, it's none of your business, and you can go fuck yourselves. That's basically the the epitome of this thing. Um, so I've made a video about this before. It's probably going to be in the iCard. I only just realised that I'd made a video about this before as I was beginning to make this video, but I thought I'm going to make this video anyway because why, why not? Why not? Um, so even since I made the last video of people, of just telling people like, I like to express myself a certain way, I am not this, I am not that, I still have dysphoria, all this sort of stuff. I made a whole long video trying to explain how, yes, I still have dysphoria, and, but no one really listened to me, it seemed. So I still get a lot of people in the comments and a lot of other trans men and a lot of other people who don't understand the community and just a lot of people in general still concerned for my well-being or something. And a lot of people, so it epitomized it in this comment. I will read it out and they will know who they are, but it doesn't doesn't really matter because it's not this person's comment in particular. This person's comment was like the tip of the iceberg of the many more comments that I've read and, and, and just in personal life people have come up to me and said this sort of stuff. And um, so I am just, so this comment on my yoga video says, wow, she's destroyed her body. I bet that this will be a huge regret. You know what, if someone's saying I bet it'll be a huge regret, that's fair enough. So I respond, um, and yeah, it says, um, each to their own, it looks like a woman who's had a double mastectomy to me, and I said, each to their own, indeed, dude. I'm really happy in myself, but I'm also happy to agree to disagree. I don't really need anyone else's opinion on how I feel, and neither should you. And then they said, you used to be reasonable, but now you've gone full non-binary gender fluid trans trender, and I just worry that you're not actually trans, you're just a girl with a very bad self-image issues trying to use transgenderism as an escape mechanism. I worry that you don't actually want to be a man, and that you'll regret your consequences of your actions. Um, and they said, and then I said, you can worry all you, about what you like, hun, but I've never been happier in my life. Expressing myself this way is exactly who I am. I think that being a trans, if you think that's being a trans trender, fair enough, we don't have to agree. So that's basically what I said. Um, and I basically stand behind that because I don't get it. The, there are so many people online. It isn't just this person. It's multiple people, but this was just the nail on the fucking head. I just... I was just like, I just need a rant on the internet for no reason at all, and this gave me a reason, so yay. Um, uh, it is true though, people often say, I'm worried that you want to detransition, but if I'm, I've told people so many times, I've told people, I, I'm fine, I am the happiest I've ever been in my life at this particular point, and they keep telling me, no you're not. They keep saying, no you're not, and it's one of my pet peeves, is when people tell me what I'm thinking. If people tell me, oh, you're not thinking that, oh, you're sad, you're actually sad, you keep telling me you're happy, but no, you're not. I'm like, I think I would know my own brain. And and it's, it's not just that, it's also people in my personal life, maybe speaking a bit more like um, people I actually know and interact with, not just people online, because of course they're just going to be trolls online, because why not? Or just people who really don't understand online, because there's a lot of people on the internet and they can just type wherever to whoever they want, so that's fair enough. But in, you know, I've had people um, in my family at least say to me, oh, are you, so what are you? Are you a boy, a girl, or non-binary, or something else, or whatever? And I went, you should know this by now, I've been out as a trans man and I've told everyone I'm a trans man, for a while now, but I understand I'm a very femme in certain ways, not all the time, but I do like to, like, I, I usually just pass, you know, as a, as a non-femme guy sometimes, however, I like to do makeup, I like to wear heels occasionally, I like to wear 
what is seen as women's clothing or whatever. Um, and a lot of people have been saying that from my, I don't know if you guys know that, but I used to, my channel used to be like a poning SJWs thing, like until I realized like, what's the point? <laughs> um, and it used to, I used to react to other sort of people who I'd call trans trenders and I'd react to like Milo Stewart and I'd react to like these people and I'd be like, ah, I'm such an edgelord. Um, and it's fine. I find some of that stuff fun. You know, I still kind of want to react to like trans cringe or what people see as trans cringe. Like I kind of want to react to that. I'd be funny. Um, but like people seem to think because I now express myself femininely and I'm a trans man that I'm immediately like some non-binary gender fluid SJW. But the way they say it is so negatively, and I don't think non-binary should be used in like some negative thing. And I've been thinking about it a lot, and I thought about it a lot recently when people were asking me, and I said it in my video with Jackson as well, that like, I was thinking, oh, am I non-binary? Because there are so many people getting in my head, so many people here and there being like, being like, oh, maybe you are, maybe you're this, maybe you're that, maybe you're um, this this gender or this non-binary gender, this and this and that. And then I was, it sort of got into my head and I was thinking, maybe I am. Maybe I am non-binary. Maybe I want to be called this and this and that. And recently I've not cared too much, I still like to be called he, and it still triggers me a bit, but I've not cared too much if I've heard my old name, or if I've been called she nowadays, because I'm so comfortable at the moment in myself, and in who I am, and in my transition, and I think I look like how I kind of want to look, and I'm quite happy for testosterone to move me even further into my transition, give me more facial hair, make me more masculine, there's seagulls fucking squawking in the background, shut the fuck up, I'm having a rant. They actually listened. Um, um, I can't even remember what I was saying fully, but just because I like that particular way does not mean that I am non-binary. Even I convince myself for a little while, maybe I am non-binary, maybe I'm in between genders because I don't get dysphoric when I do makeup. But I'm just a trans man who likes to express myself in maybe a bit more openly than other trans men or just men, you know, cis men in generally do. Um, I like to express myself in so many different ways. I'm very open with my expression and with just, I'm a very open person. I like to play around with things a lot when it comes to like the line between masculinity and femininity and, and I like to be both sides. Some days I like to be really masculine, some days I like to be really feminine. I am a mix of everything. And there was a line, as I said, my my mum said the other day in, in one of my videos and like I mentioned it in one of my videos and she said to me the other day like, there isn't really quite a label for me, there isn't, there isn't a way to explain me, and nowadays I don't really like labels anymore. I have to often use these labels online where I say, oh, I'm a feminine trans guy who likes to do makeup but likes to be masculine sometimes, who's also bisexual, so I like men and women and non-binary people and all the, you know, and I've been, I've had to explain myself with these labels so many times that I just don't want to anymore. People want you to some, can't people just listen to me? When I say, I think I'm gonna end the video now because otherwise I'll just be going on forever. When I say, I, it, first off, I, it doesn't mean I'm some sort of like SJW sort of extra triggered person if I just like to start wearing makeup. I know I may look like it, I wear pink, I've got this hair that's apparently like, I don't know, vegan hair. Everyone thinks I'm a vegan every time they see me, they're like, um, do you want the vegan option? Like everywhere I go. Um, so, okay, maybe that's how I look, but I'm actually a rather tolerant person. I can speak to people without immediately freaking out, which I know some people in my community can like be over the top with that, but that's not me. Um, and just secondly, I don't want to have to constantly explain myself to people. I just did the table, the round table series, please go check it out, I'll link it down below, where we speak about identity and labels, and the labels I've had to give to myself to explain to myself to other people this time, I don't care about anymore, I don't want to use them. Uh, but I do use them because you have to, to explain yourself to people, but I don't want to use them, I don't want to have to explain myself to anyone anymore, and I keep having to in the comment section, but everyone's still going to keep doing it because I know they're not going to listen to me right now, uh, probably not even going to be watching this far into the video, they'll just comment in the first five seconds, haha, <laughs> you're such a <laughs> triggered, haha. <laughs> but I, anyway, just to the story before I went on a weird tangent, I don't have to explain myself anymore. Um, 
and I'm I'm not non-binary. I've been thinking about it for a long time. If I am non-binary, I just want to be a guy, or just not even a guy. I don't even like that label at this point. I, I usually I just I'm a guy, but I just want to be me and just live my life. And if I if I tell you guys I'm happy, I've I've gotten through so many issues with mental health. I will speak about that in the future. I'm finally at, at I've gotten through a very dark patch in my life. Um, and some of you guys may know, and some of you guys may have at least sussed it out, but there's a lot of stuff that I have, uh, you know, a lot, a dark area in my life that I've just gotten through. I'm, I've just managed to make my way out of it. It's still not completely over, but I managed to make my way out of it. I'm the happiest I've actually ever been. I'm in the best shape that I've ever been. I'm expressing myself more than I ever have, and I feel more like me than I've ever felt in my entire life. I am happy, and it's the only time I want to have to tell you guys that I'm not some woman that's been, uh, that's hated misogyny and gone through, used transgenderism as a, like, vice to get through it. I am happy as a guy, or just, I'm just happy as me, um, as a guy that likes to do what he likes to do. I don't need to... This is the only time I want to have to explain it, because y'all are idiots. I mean, let's just be blunt here. Some of you guys are idiotic cunts, and let's just use that as like a... Y'all be stupid, not all of you, because I love most of you. But there's just these people, and they still watch me. It's like, if you think I'm stupid, if you think I'm a transgender, just fuck off. That's all you've got to do. Toodles. See ya. Walk your way out of here. Sisters. <laughs> anyway, I think I should end this video now because it's just me ranting. Um, I'm going to make a video about femininity and masculinity and expression versus gender identity in the community and all this sort of stuff with a group of people. Um, I think it's going to be a group of people I'm going to make it with. It's going to be really fun. I'm going to see them all, uh, a few people soon for this festival I'm going to. So hopefully we can make a video together. It'll be really interesting. Um, but for now, you guys just get this rant. It's like I've got to fucking react to SJWs and be like, ah, they're so cringe. Everyone's getting mad at one another. Can I just not be me and not have someone else tell me how I feel? You know? This is so sad. I'm just sitting here ranting to myself out loud, but out loud in front of a camera. But <laughs> it's so simple just to not be a dickhead. Like, and why are people so worried? People say, I'm so worried about you. I'm so worried that you've done your surgery and you're regretting it now. I'm telling you I'm not regretting it. Can you please just take my word for it? First off, if I am regretting it, which I'm definitely not, it's the best thing that's actually ever happened to me, um, if I was, it wouldn't be any of your problem. Like, I appreciate maybe you trying to look out for me, but why? If I tell you it's chill, I'm good, I'm great, let me be chill and stop trying to put a downer on my life when I finally found a sense of happiness. Whew. Anyway, happy 10,000, guys. <laughs> 10,000 subscribers. Yay. Let me know in the comment section down below um, if, like, what you want, what actual videos you want me to do for 10,000 because I just did a yoga video, but I also want to do more videos this coming month, celebration month for 10,000 subs. So please let me know in the comment section down below. <sighs> okay, I guess that was a rant. Please like this video if you agree with my rant. Um, and don't dislike it if you disagree. Please also like it if you disagree. <laughs> um, please uh, like, comment, subscribe, click that notification bell down below so you can see videos coming out from me because I'm going to post a lot more cool, funky, fresh videos. Um, most of them will be a bit more positive than me ranting at a camera. I probably didn't get anything out that I needed to say in this video. It was probably just me ranting, but um, sometimes you need a good rant. It's fun to just watch someone rant, right? <laughs> um, anyway, go subscribe because there's more stuff going to be out. Thank you guys so much for watching my rant. <laughs> Please rant in the comment section down below. We can rant together. If you disagree with me on this, 
Um, also rant in the comments section. Let's just have a civil debate about it. But also don't tell me my opinions or how I feel. Because you don't know my brain. Thanks. Cheers. Okay. Um, bye. I love you to all the people who aren't dickheads. And uh, everyone who is trying to tell me how to live my life. Go fuck yourself. <laughs> Bye. Demonetized. <laughs>